Hello, I'm Victor Zhao, the president of the National Academy of Medicine, or what we call short NAM. You know, about a decade ago, the Institute of Medicine, now the NAM, released two important reports regarding the nation's health and policies and investments that shape health outcomes. These reports call attention to several related challenges facing our nation, especially in comparison to other wealthy countries. The first report from 2012, entitled For Public Health, Investing in a Healthier Future, assessed the financial challenges facing the government public health infrastructure. It argued that adequate sustainable financing for public health is necessary to inform and mobilize action on determinants of health, to protect and promote health, and to prepare for a large range of potential threats. It spoke of potential reforms to public health financing and infrastructure to better align spending with needs, escaped silo funding structures, and integrate health delivery with public health. The second report published next year was entitled U.S. Health in International Perspective, Shorter Lives, Poorer Health. That's quite a title, Shorter Life and Poorer Health Describing the U.S. Health. I think this report considers how and why United States health outcomes differ drastically from those in other developed countries, despite increasing rates of health spending. So here we are 10 years later. We continue to face these familiar problems. As a nation, we're spending 20% or more of our GDP in healthcare, and yet many Americans face major barriers to assessing even basic care. Over the last two years, life expectancy has actually fallen, and Americans are now living three years less on the average than in 2019. It's really quite unbelievable. The drop in life expectancy is not just due to pandemic. We're seeing more deaths from chronic disease and deaths of despair. Long-standing problems of poverty, discrimination, racism, access to care are continuing. So there's a lot of work to be done. And there is much work is being done around US to attempt to address these problems. Sunny is for this reason that National Academy's Roundtable on Population Health Improvement is gathering stakeholders together for this multi-day symposium. This symposium titled Shifting the Nation's Health Investment to Support Long Healthy Lives for All so important title. We explored the issues raised in 2012 and 2013 reports. What progress has been made in recent years and areas where there's still much work to be done. Presentation during this important event will showcase examples of innovation from around the country in policy, framing, narrative, and movement building. The symposium will be crucial for exploring opportunities, challenges, and imperatives for a renewed effort in increasing life expectancy, eliminating excessive healthcare spending, and investing equitably to improve population health. I'm really excited about this symposium. It's got all the right reasons and all the right issues to be discussed, bringing all of you together. So I hope you come away from this discussion with a sense of optimism sense of purpose about what we can do together across public and private sector and with many communities partners to change our paradigm from one that yields long-term health lives for some to one that supports vital conditions necessary for all people and all communities to thrive. So thank you very much for allowing me to speak to you and I wish you a great conference.